So in today's video, we're going to go over how to use ClickFunnels and how to make a quick basic funnel to get you high opt-ins because the money is made in building your email list. So whatever source of traffic you're using, whether you're using Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, social media, Google, Bing, whatever you're using, I want to show you how to get quick results for high opt-ins and just a basic funnel. ClickFunnels is one of the best platforms to use. So stick with me and we'll get started. So everybody, thanks for tuning into my video. As you know, on Tuesdays, I try to post frequently affiliate marketing tips, tricks, and just to bring you guys pure value on my journey, tips and tricks that I've learned through the journey, and to give you guys some value and maybe answer some questions. I know some of you may be struggling, some of you are killing it on this, but uh, if you're new to my channel, subscribe, feel free to message me if you need help on any of this. I always have links below. But I usually start my videos off with a quote, and today I decided to do something a little different. There's a YouTube video called The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightgill, and it's really motivational. If you're an entrepreneur, I say you should go listen to this video and just think about what the man's saying. I mean, it makes 100% sense. So check him out, and uh, it's an old video. It's been out for a while, but it's really motivational, so I would check it out. So for starters, I'm going to be talking about click funnels in this video and I'm not going to drag out the video. I want to, I want to make it to the point. I'm going to tell you a couple pros and cons about click funnel. There's other funnel build builders out there for a squeeze page and why we use a squeeze page is because our goal is no matter how long your funnel is, is our goal is to capture an email. Most of your sales on your offer isn't going to, a lot of people, they're not going to buy from you the first time around. So you're going to have to build that relationship with them. You want them to know you, like you, trust you, and they're going to buy from you. So I just want to give you guys some value and some tips on what I'm doing for my funnel. It's really good to keep your funnel really basic. Click Funnels is super versatile and there's lead pages out there. There's all these other funnel builders out there, but if you have the budget for it, Click Funnels is $97 a month and I'm going to show you, I'm going to build a funnel with you in this video just so, and actually and I'm going to give you a bonus if you made it this far in the video. In this video, I'm going to put a link below in case you want to share my funnel and you want to use my funnel. I'm going to show you some basic tips on the funnel and how ClickFunnels works is you can put a share code at the bottom of your description. That's just one of the features you can do with ClickFunnels and if you're one of my subscribers and you're building a landing page and you're working hard on trying to capture emails. Look in the description. I'm going to put a share code for ClickFunnels. So what I'm building now that's going to take me maybe 10 minutes or so, I want you to use it and run traffic to it and tell me your results with it. So as you can tell, I've been optimizing and testing my traffic. Um, I've built up my email list. I'm actually selling solo ads for people promoting make money online opportunities and helping people get high quality leads from the traffic that I've made off of Bing ads, Google, Facebook. But anyways, uh, so this, I optimize it to get a 70% opt-in rate on this funnel. I've ran a lot of tests. When I very first got into using ClickFunnels, my opt-in rate was literally 10 to 14% on my funnel. I mean, it was awful. And I ran a ton of tests. And now, typically, most of my funnels get between 49% to 70% opt-ins. And my sales are made through the email follow-up. I use Aweber, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. And I want you to remember this, uh, just, you know, I talk about my links because that's how my money is made, obviously, but if you reach out to me and you're serious about using ClickFunnels, if you're serious about using Aweber and you wanna learn how to build your email list, how to capture leads, how to follow up with your leads, reach out to me because I'm here to help, I'm here to give value, and it just shows me you're taking the initiative and you're wanting to learn. A lot of people, they're going to go to your funnel, they're going to land on your landing page, and they're not going to buy the first time around. So our goal is, is to aim to make sales through our email follow-ups. This video, I'm not going to go into Aweber. I'm going to just talk about ClickFunnels, and we're going to create a funnel, and I'm going to put the share code, and you're going to be able to use it. So let's. I'm going to tell you just a couple basic features. ClickFunnels, you can integrate with uh, Aweber, GetResponse, MailChimp. You can integrate any of your auto email responders to ClickFunnels. You can use a custom domain. For one of my funnels, I actually have a custom domain. And now, believe me, it was a pain to set up. But now that I know how to set up a custom domain with ClickFunnels, 
it's pretty simple and I like I like that feature it's decent but I don't use it a lot because what I use is a, a platform called click magic and click magic is what I use to track my traffic where my traffic is coming from how much I'm paying for my clicks click magic is so versatile I'm not gonna do a video on that yet but I will be doing a video on that because I believe anyone doing affiliate marketing should be using click magic to track their links check their conversions and one just quick tip about click magic is that you can buy one domain set that one domain up with click magic and then you can run 20 different squeeze pages to that click magic link with that domain and click magic is perfect for tracking and you can put pixels from click magic into your funnel but uh, I don't want to make this video too long so I'm gonna tell you uh, a little bit more about click funnels uh, I really like this uh, digital asset feature so if you have an ebook or if you make your own program you can embed your own program link onto your click funnels landing page so you can send people to a squeeze page a thank you page and you can basically redirect them from your click funnels page to PayPal and from PayPal to your download page that's something I really like about click funnels it's really organized really easy to use but uh, this was one of the funnels I did. I got 70% and we're going to make a funnel right now and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. Alright, so this is just a basic outlook of ClickFunnels backpack if you're wondering what that is. That's just the upgraded version of ClickFunnels. I'm not using that personally because I'm just using the $97 a month one. But this one is, I believe it's about $247 a month. Yeah, $297 a month. I'm not using this yet. I'm not at the point where I need it but let's just get started okay so what you want to do is you want to just hit add new and you want to collect emails I always choose this every time and let's just name this uh, YouTube love so I'm naming it YouTube love because I'm gonna share this funnel and show some love with my subscribers and let you guys use this funnel that we're about to make it shouldn't take too long but you, you don't want to overcomplicate your funnel whenever because your goal is, is to get the opt-in okay so let's just take a look and now click funnels these are the templates that you can choose between when choosing a, a landing page pre-built click funnel uh, landing pages they're okay I mean uh, there's a couple good ones in here that I use let's take a look hmm you know what let's go with uh, this one right here so all you want to do is hit select template So we won't be using the okay, thank so you now, page. Okay, so now when you're on this page, on if you want, page, this page is basically right made to where you can create variations, and I 100% recommend that you create variations because that's how I, I was able to scale up from a 15% opt-in rate all the way up to a 70% opt-in rate. I'm not saying you're going to get a 70% opt-in rate like myself. It all depends on your traffic, where you're getting it from, the quality of it, and optimizing and improving. But so I would recommend starting off with maybe a, at least three different variations of the leave one, you know, change them small details, maybe change the background on one and then maybe change the copy on your sales on what you want next. So let's let's get started. Edit page. So now this is ClickFunnels actually a uh, new uh, layout. They used to have ClickFunnels where they had all the buttons right on the side of the screen on the right side where my mouse is at but they recently changed that so if you want to go back to the old interface you can do that but I'm not and uh, so what I want to do first is I wanna I'm gonna take this out right here so now with click funnels there's so many different features you can do you can I'll show you just a couple uh, let's go to add an element you can add your images you can add you can add a video here on your landing page you can add a button and What's pretty cool, you can uh, put tabs up here if you had a long landing page. So if someone could click on, if you wanted to show someone testimonials of your program, you could have a testimonial tab here that would redirect people to the bottom. Um, let's see what else. You can put countdown. See, countdown, um, I don't use countdown, but it, it creates a, an urgency for people to want to to opt in quicker and I don't use that but it's something good you can do and navigation is how you do that where you how you direct people from the top of the screen to the bottom but let's keep going so I just wanted to show you just a couple um, things you can do right here you can put a headline subline you can add it in click funnels is pretty basic when it comes to that 
So let's think about what we want to say to lure people in. And I'm going to use business opportunity for an example because that's what I love to promote. That's what I promote is business opportunity. So depending on what niche you're in, you can change it to work for your niche. But if you're watching this video, uh, nine times out of ten, uh, I think promoting business opportunity is one of the best ways to go. I mean, you could promote beauty, you can promote fitness, personal development, and you can just change the copy to work for whatever you're going to use. But let's just keep it basic right now. So right here is your integration. So this is where you sync in your Aweber, your Git response. Tracking code is where you put your Facebook pixel, and background is where you basically choose your background. So I'm going to choose something, uh, a basic background, and what you want to do, if you want a high quality background, uh, go to this site right here, it's called Pixels, and it's really good for backgrounds, and you can just type in what you, you know, what uh, kind of background you want, so you can put travel, and they have high quality images, I mean, look at that, that image looks perfect right there, that, that could work for a landing page. So anyways, let's go back. So I'm going to start off with a background and I want to go with, uh, let's go with this background right here. All you have to do is hit upload and then add, add more, upload, and you're good to go. Add more. So I like that background right there and let's, uh, let's change this button up right here. So if you want to change the button, all you do is go to BG right here and you can change this button color. So let's do that actually um, let's say um, yes yes let me in okay so that's gonna say yes let me in and let's go to themes right here and let's go with a blue 3d button yeah I like that and what else do I want to do to this? Um, let's go to advanced. Mm -hmm. Center, correct, spacing. So I want to go full width. I, uh, hmm. We're doing this live. You can tell this is live. This is kind of how I mastermind when I'm thinking about what I want my funnel to say, what I want it to look like. And I want to keep this kind of basic. So, oh, and another thing you can think about too whenever you're using ClickFunnels is you can always ClickFunnels has these boxes right here that you can you can change so like for an example if I click settings right there I can change this background and make it darker you can change it whatever you want I wanna make it uh... I think that looks pretty good right there really basic and you know what I don't like this right here I'm gonna take that out let's see mm -hmm delete that's out now let's go with uh, what do we want this to say to lure people in hmm. Mm -hmm. let's say the easiest uh, let me make that a capital Okay. Let's change this button. Let's uh, fool around with this button color. Let's see what looks good. I don't mind that color, but I kind of want to change it up. Hmm. That looks okay. All right. So let's take this out right here. All right. Um. Let's say. Uh, mentor. All rights belong to Anthony. Uh, let's go with OBM Anthony. You don't have to put that. I'm just putting that for right now. But what you can do is you can always add a disclaimer at the bottom. If you want, do that. There's You can go to Google and Google different disclaimers to put at the bottom and fool around with the backgrounds create different variations and see what will work for you make sure you sync your email responder you have to make sure you have to go into ClickFunnels and go to 
account and you have to add that in add in whatever email responder you're using it only takes a couple minutes and make sure you full make sure you put a, a retracking uh, retargeting pixel that's what I should say a retargeting pixel so I'm in BizOp. I'm promoting BizOp for this funnel specifically so I'm gonna go to Facebook I'm gonna get my custom pixel for that audience that I'm gonna be targeting and I will make sure to, to put that in right there in the tracking code use your background and so you may be wondering uh, the money question okay so now what you want to do is when you're thinking about where am I gonna send people from this landing page once they opt into my email list where am I gonna send them to what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to click on this button yes let me in and I'm gonna show you the common mistake that most people do most people click on this button and they click set action and then they think well if they're gonna go from click funnels I'm gonna send them to the website URL so then they're gonna click right here and they're gonna put on their website but what you wanna do is you wanna click submit form page so click submit form page and then click out of that go to your settings and then come over here down to general take your whatever link you're promoting your affiliate offer and I'd recommend cloaking your link and use click magic if you're willing to pay for a high tracking software use click magic and if you're not willing to do that use bitly or Google URL shortener and all you do is copy it and then hit control V and put that in there and then you're good to go and then that parts done so I decided to change up this uh, button a little bit I wanted to move the email address and change the sign up form right there so you're gonna see me moving the page around and kind of redesigning it to my liking. So right here I clicked on integration and I decided to synchronize my email responder with it and that's exactly how you do it, how I just did it real quick. So once you save it, you're ready to change the top text. Look closely at the top and I'm changing it to my liking. Uh, make money online and then you can put in keywords and you can change it so when people go to your landing page they just don't see click funnels at the top of the screen they see what you actually put in right there so I would make sure to do that whenever you save your page now also if you want to change the domain right there don't do a custom domain do a manual domain and it only takes about 15 minutes to set up always feel free while creating your funnel to click on the mobile app or the computer screen or the phone and that'll let you know how it looks on a cell phone or how it'll look on a PC you want to make it sure it's mobile optimized and it looks decent on a mobile phone. So always click there if you want to double check it. So I decided to make a couple small changes to this. It only took a couple minutes. I also added in uh, information will be sent to your email address provided above. Please check for accuracy. I put a disclaimer at the bottom and I changed this to enter your email to get access. And just remember, this funnel is going to be in the description. So if you don't have ClickFunnels, make sure to sign up. I'll put a link there. And you can use the share code. And make sure you use this. Uh, make sure whenever this right here it says, yes, let me in, put the uh, link to your affiliate offer or put the link to what you're promoting. So make sure you do that. Don't use what I have there. Right now I have uh, another. Uh, I just have it sending to somewhere else. So make sure you use what you're promoting. Uh, if you want, put your pixel in. Just to recap, make sure you integrate your autoresponder. I recommend using Aweber to for your autoresponder. If you have any questions about ClickFunnels, let me know. Uh, if you want to change this up so it's not exactly like mine, just uh, click Add Element, put uh, bullet points or subheadline. You could put something like right in between here. And fellow student made twenty five hundred and two weeks or you know just whatever you want just put something there and I hope you guys appreciate this video use the share code thanks for watching and I'll be uploading again soon so have a good day Cold enough to chill my bones. It feels like I don't know you anymore I don't understand why you're so cold to me with every breath you breathe I see there's something going on Are we taking time or time out? I can't take the in-between